What's going on there, YouTube? All right, I'm back. This is gonna be my first 5K event of the year. It's crazy. Um, I'm over here at Naval Base San Diego doing a Juneteenth 5K. About to get ready for it. Check out the video, it's gonna be good. I'll check in every mile. Let's get it. So I finished the 5K. My original plan was to check in every mile but carrying this camera and all that was was too much at the time and and every mile was horrible and hard but um i got it done so i was the last person to finish and by the time i finished they had took everything down but that's not the point i finished it took me over an hour and a half my back wasn't good my legs wasn't good but you know you gotta have heart my heart was still good so i kept going you know i did take breaks i ain't gonna lie i took a lot of breaks um but i kept uh fit that finish line uh at the front or at the forefront and uh eventually i got there the finish line wasn't there but i knew where the finish line was <laughs> before i started but anyway it ain't funny it, it is what it is you know um yeah it's done so a lot of times things might not work out for you you know what i'm saying like you might have a goal in mind and you might want to finish with the pack and at the time you're doing it you can't um this gives me definitely something to hold on to um something to remember because even though um I came in last, I still finished. And that says a lot. That says a lot about, um, you know, how how I approach things, you know? And, and I approached this knowing it was gonna be hard and I knew it was gonna hurt, but I still did it. And so for those out there who, who want to do a 5k and think it's so hard and think it's you can't do it like if i just did it you can do it and if you take your mind off of the time i wasn't going for time i was going to finish and i did that so in a sense i mean not even in a sense i did what i came out to do i finished it wasn't first i didn't come in with the pack but I finished. So, and I got me a nice little t-shirt. Happy Juneteenth to everybody. All right. And for those of you who don't know what Juneteenth represents, um, now I, I'm, I'm still working on my research, but to, to my knowledge, it was um, officially when slavery ended, but um, it was two years later before it was actually announced to the slaves. So, um, it is what it is, you know. I guess without Juneteenth, you know, I wouldn't be here, you know, running 5Ks with everybody amongst all these different nationalities. So, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. And it's, it's, it's weird that... You know, we only started this last year, but it's uh, cool that it'll go from here on out. So that was my 5K um, video. That's my 5K video. I'm back. You know, if you're watching uh, my Gold Chasers channel, um, I'm back. And uh, I'll be posting more videos and I'll be doing more events. And I'll be working out and I want this next 5k whichever one it is I haven't decided which one I'm gonna do but uh, whatever one, whatever one it is I uh, I want to do better than I did at this one you know uh, eventually I want to get to where I can walk it all the way through and then from there you know just keep going up to jogging I don't really have any aspiration to sprint all the way through any one but if it happens, it happens. I'm not gonna sit there and block my blessings. If I get to a point where I need to sprint, I'm gonna sprint, you know what I'm saying? So I wanna get my hikes back on, I wanna get everything back on, but I know right now I'm at the bottom and uh, you know, 
sometimes that reality check is good. So, um, check, keep checking my page out, you know what I'm saying? Keep checking my, my channel. Um, please like, subscribe. If you know somebody else who needs this motivation, pass it on, pass the word on. You can do this. And I'll see you at the next video. All right, like.